What's up YouTube? Out here with Silver Bullet and a new foam cannon. Let's get it cleaned up. All right, YouTube, this is what we're gonna do today. We're going to do a review slash just use this thing and see how it works type deal. So one of the videos that I did not long ago, actually it's been like a couple years ago now, but it was a, a foam cannon review of an MATCC. And uh, it got a lot of traffic and it was it was a good one. But I don't even think you can buy them anymore, but I like it, I still use it. It's a really good one and it puts the foam on really good. And uh, these guys reached out to me, sent me an email, said, hey, would you mind doing a review of uh, our foam cannon and seeing uh, what kind of job you think it can do? And I said, absolutely I would. So they sent this to me and I'm doing the review. It took me a little while to get to it, but I'm doing it. And uh, this is the box that it comes in and this is what comes in the box plus a few spare parts, which is really, really nice. Uh, now, this isn't like a comparison between the MATCC and the M. JJC, oh, why, why do you gotta use so many letters? I like, just call it a name. Uh, but anyways, it's not a comparison. It's uh, it's just telling you that this right here does the deal and it's really more engineered than the other one was. So, uh, you know, the longer you wait on a product to come out anyway, the better it's gonna get usually. And they've done a really good job of putting this together. It's not just some brass nozzle, okay? It's, it's put together really well. All right, now I live on a dirt road and that means that it's really, really dusty when it's dry and then when it's wet, it's really, really muddy. So it's nice to be able just to spray the truck off and then rinse it off and it look pretty clean. So, you know, it's not like, uh, it's not like I'm trying to wash it every week, but it's nice to do like a, a 10 minute rinse. And this right here makes that a possibility to get a good clean looking truck without having to wash it by hand. And uh, you barely even get wet when you do it, you know? So you can just hook the pressure washer up, hook the cannon up, put a little bit of foam in there or a little bit of soap in there, spray it, let it sit for five or 10 minutes, spray it again, and you're ready to go. Uh, anytime the road's dusty, I can do that. Anytime it's muddy, I can do that and be back in business. One thing you need to know is that the pressure washer makes a difference. If you got some Sario cheap electric pressure washer, it's probably not gonna do that great. It'll work, but it's not gonna do that great. So what I use is a pretty decent pressure washer. It's not like commercial grade, but it's a good one. And uh, it's a Simpson 3200. I bought it from Tractor Supply like five years ago and it still does the deal. So uh, you can see it, it's got a Honda motor. That makes a difference. But the main thing is you want one that's gonna shoot a good bit of pressure. All right, don't get a sorry cheap old pressure washer and then expect it to be like the car wash in town. You know, you gotta get a pretty good one to make it work. All right, now I wanna show you the truck uh, because it's the same truck that I used in the last video, and it's probably about the same amount of dirty. I mean, it stays pretty dirty. You can see, uh, I'm gonna give you a, a close up real quick, kind of walk around the truck, show you the tires and the wheels, they pretty dirty, show you the windows, show you the uh, actual siding of the truck, and just let you see uh, just how dirty it is. So uh, the kind of results that we get with a good foam and then a good wash. All right, so like I said, this is the bottle. This is the nozzle. These are your adjustments there and there. Uh, and you know, I'll try to move some of them while I'm using this. Uh, but this is the soap and it's Chemical Guys Tough Mudder Soap. All right, that's what we're doing. First line right there. And then we're just gonna screw this on. Nope, first we're gonna fill it up with water. And then we're gonna screw this on and hook it up and spray it. So the next time you see me, we're gonna be cranking the pressure washer, spraying this stuff on the truck.
right, I had to get way over here because the pressure washer is loud as rip. And uh, I just sprayed it all, and one of those tubes was enough to do the whole truck and <clears throat> a little bit extra, you know, just kind of under the wheel wells and stuff like that. And the next thing, we're just going to put on a different tip. So you can use any that come with that. I've got like a turbo tip, that, like a whirly thing, and uh, I use that because it does really good. And, uh, and then we're just going to rinse it all off. And we're going to see how it looks out here in the sun. See if it has any more dust, see if it has any mud, or just see if it needs washing again. We we'll sprayed it off, we're letting it dry. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what I think about uh, this foam cannon. I think it's legit. I think it's really, really good, and it worked really, really good. It sprayed foam on the truck, and it put it on nice and thick. So, uh, you know, one time I rubbed my finger across the truck while it still had wet foam on it, and I would say it was probably like a sixteenth of an inch thick worth of foam. Uh, and then uh, the adjustments are really solid. They make a difference. I keep it all the way up because it seems to put the thickest amount of foam on there. At the beginning, I kind of cut it down to the very lowest setting, and it was pretty much just like soapy water. I mean, there was no foam, uh, and that's not what you want. You want it on there thick because, like I said, we want to put it on this truck and be able just to let it do some work and then spray it off, and the truck look decent. All right, now, obviously, if you wanted your truck to be really, really good, then you would spray the foam on there, wash it with some towels or rags or something and then spray it off again you know that might be like if you're gonna go on a date or something and you need your truck to look really really good you need it to look fancy like date night at applebee's something like that maybe you're gonna get the bourbon street steak and the oreo shake might even get some whipped cream on the top too who knows uh but if you need something fancy then you would wash it good but if you just want something every single day or not even every day but like once a week or something like that then it would be really good to be able to come spray it down let it sit for just a minute and then rinse it off now the key to making it work like that is to spray it with foam nice and heavy and then right before the foam dries hit it with the pressure washer uh, with the worthy nozzle works really good uh, but if you let it dry then you kind of defeat the purpose so you want to make sure that you get it before it dries but you give it as much time to do what it needs to do so when i sprayed this in this video i probably let it sit for five to seven minutes before i rinsed it off you can see it just did a great job of cleaning it off really nice so look if you're in the market for a foam cannon give these guys a look uh, amazon.com of course look it up and uh, i don't make any money from this obviously but uh it's legit. Give it a try.